G'day everyone, Scott here on my first episode of Scott is Gardening. Now the boss owes me a fair few hours at work and I got an urgent delivery of bugs in. So I wanted to show you exactly what I've ordered and what pest species I'm targeting with these beneficial insects. Bear with me on two things. I do live on a fairly main road. Cars are gonna go past, people are gonna walk past talking. Not much we can do about it and I'm not doing a new take every 30 seconds. Secondly, I don't know how to pronounce any of these bugs except for ladybug. So obviously uh, we got the ladybirds in here or the ladybugs, some people call them. These guys are here for aphids. I've noticed some green aphids just appearing around the place on the tomatoes specifically. So we thought we'd give some uh, ladybug ed ladybird eggs a go. Now, next up was hypoapsis, which are a soil mite. These guys are going to target any thrip larvae that might be left over in the soil and also the fungus gnats. So you can use them indoors as well. They're absolutely fantastic. Next up is Trichogramma prediosum. These are tiny little wasps, less than half a millimeter long. These are here for moths. Now I've got these little grubs that are little black heads on them that are cocooning up on new seedlings. So I thought I'd give these a go because there's definitely little moths coming out of the patch as well. All right, I have no idea. I'm just going to put the name of this one down the bottom. Eret moceris Hayati. I've got these guys in for silver leaf white fly. They're just starting to appear around the place. I've got some carrots that are probably overdue for harvesting and also the tomatoes. I can just see them flying out of there every now and then. So I thought I'd add them into the addition. A week ago, we added in some lacewing eggs as well. So those little guys are going to be in, in all these plants behind us because they're already released. So these new bugs were just meant to bring in another wave of targeting and another wave of pressure on the pest. So first up, let's do these hypoapsis. Now they come on this substrate already, which is coir and wood chips. So the whole idea here is, is I've got a fairly big patch to inoculate my yard. Um, this is more than enough, but just so I'm not overdosing certain certain areas, what I thought I'd do is add it in with a little bit of coca coir that I that I have here. Now these guys are tiny, tiny. So I guess just want to homogenize it a little bit. Now you can do this. It says that you can put in your potting mixes. So yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty hardy, these guys. What I'm going to do is just move around the garden, moving back the mulch layers and just spreading it underneath and putting them back over. So I wasn't going to do every, every pot. Now I've moved all these together like this when I put the lace wings out last Saturday, whenever it was. So in a, in a week's time, once all these beneficial bugs go out, I'll, I'll move them back. So a lot of these strawberries were a bad idea and with the fruit trees, but when and you lose. So I just get these guys in. Maybe we'll put some in with the broad beans. Uh, you just want to give them a bit of shelter when you're, when you're putting them out. So. Let's come over here. All right, I've got heaps left. All right, this is going to be plenty. It's about time to take this spinach out. And um, <clears throat> I've got some more in up the other end too. So, look, this could be the wrong way to do it, everyone. Um, showing you what I do. I'm not a pro at putting bugs out, that's for sure. In the past, what I've done to, to care here uh, for pests is... Um, is turbo wash one of one of my products sometimes pyrethrum mainly turbo wash an effective organic contact um so yeah you got to get onto it early though the white stuff's a bit of dipole some little abeti he's more silver beet through here as well garlic was terrible this year absolutely rotten didn't get enough sun oh i wonder why so i should have had the silver bead up this end and this up that end but uh, all right 
There go all those little mites. Now I'm going to do the ladybirds next. I'm sort of blown away. In the last hour, this whole container has hatched, which made me realize the other two I'm going to hold back because they're not ready. Like, it's just unreal just how many is in there. All right, so because these guys are all up on the lid and I've got three containers, I'm thinking a container for every section of the yard. So because this is where I saw the aphids on Saturday when I was taking a few leaves off, doing my pruning and putting the lace wings out, I think I'm going to start here. Uh, just because this is probably where they're going to find the most food for. The idea apparently is you want to sprinkle them directly on the leaves near the pests so they don't have to travel far or eat each other. I'm going to concentrate them to the second row here. The Romas, uh, that's where the lace wings went out and that's where I actually saw the aphids too. I haven't been able to really find many other aphids since? No, there's a couple. All right, we're on, we're on, let's go. Mate, oh, I, don't, I don't know, I'm getting nervous. They're not cheap. So I think there's meant to be like 50 ladybugs in a container-ish, something around that. You get, ooh, you get 150 eggs uh, in three containers, so I'm just going to roll with that. Oh, I'm nervous to waste them. Put them in the wrong spot or something. Ooh, that, was, that was a lot. I hope the bugs for bugs dudes aren't sitting there like, oh no, he's, he's ruined them all. Oh, they're going everywhere, Scott. What are you, you've wasted it. I, I'm assuming I'm doing God's work here. Really good stuff. Um, doing it perfect. Get that self-confidence back up and just roll with it now. Next up are the Tricker Grammar. Now these guys are for the moths, so what you've got to do with these, it's a little bit more straightforward than just sprinkling and being all worried. These guys I get to staple onto a leaf or something uh, over where I see the moths, so a lot more straightforward. There are one, two, three, four, five packs here. You get like, th like thousands, it's, it's crazy. So my plan is, um, some in the tomatoes, maybe two in the tomatoes, and three over where I'm noticing the actual little moth larvae that are getting on all the new seedlings. I think a good spot to put one on the tomatoes would be just on this bit of jute I've got. These were the only ones that I could see by eye that couldn't get on the camera for you. Oh, just wondering how to flatten that out just so it doesn't cut. There we are. Maybe a little bit more protected. Just get that over like that. Just bring that in. Sun off it a bit. All right, so these guys are gonna fly, so I'm gonna assume I can maybe put, put it on the pot. I wanna get it over here. All right, once again, could be a bad idea, but doesn't say not to do it. All right, that'll be going next video, trust me. So this is where I'm seeing the moths. Tiny little larvae, that's some other pests. So these are the beetroots here at the moment. I've got four or five types in. Staple, I guess, directly um directly under a leaf. Alright. Give that a little bit more support. As long as we don't get any rain, that should be okay. Let's come over here on this other beetroot. Man, it's crazy. Whatever this beetroot was, did a typical Scott and didn't do any names or tags. One of them was absolutely cranking. And like, it's just such big leaves compared to the others. It's not developing underground as quick as the others though. So these are, you can see all that damage. So they were these little grubs with white heads, tiny little things. Just over like that I think. Boom. Yeah, it's protected from the rain. The white fly just flew out. Maybe I'll one of these kales. 
There we are. So, and there's, there was a black aphid on these as well. Yeah, look, I'm just going to pull all this out. Um, the garlic and you can use it green, it's still tasty. So last is the white fly beneficial bug. We're just going to call it the Eretz because I can't pronounce it, but there are heaps in here, thousands. It's a little bit more straightforward to put these ones out. We're just going to attach this to a pole in the garden or a leaf or something, a bit of tape or twine. I'm going to use sticky tape. I forgot everything else, but I'm not sure if you could see all the white fly coming out. These guys are going to get straight to work. Money well spent. Look how many you actually get. 10 vials. All of these little, little wasps, I think they are. So, anyway, I'm going to get prepared and I'm going to go do this. Alright, so, as I said, pretty straightforward, I think. Just going to come around. Alright. Then, they just say do that. I'm not sure if you can see that. There are heaps. There are heaps. They're going to work. Oh, you sick. I'm easily excited about stuff like this. They're pumping. You just killed them when you did that, you idiot. Just leave it. Leave it be. A lot easier to put these guys out. Alright, we'll go to the rest of the garden. These carrots are going to be pretty straightforward, to be honest. I'm probably just going to come in this side. Jam it in there like that. Pull, pull them out. Once again, I could be wrong. I'm just going for ease here. Ease of application. Gotta fill it up with stuff. Same again, I think. Oh. Uh, this is where we saw those white flies flying out of, so perfect spot. Get into it, lads. Lucky last. Maybe over here. Alright, I'll have to remember to get all that cotton. Lovely beet. Might bring him up on the weekend. I like roasting them. Then you add them in with a little bit of uh, cream cheese, garlic powder, onion powder, mm, mm, lemon juice. Beautiful. It's good that they're finishing up. Like some are ready, some aren't. So you just sort of pluck a couple out as you want. Those big, uh, big guys that are—they just power. Not doing much underneath though, but they're all in the same soil. So it's weird that these ones get super leafy the same amount of nitrogen as say this one which are more bulbing out and just smaller i guess that's different varieties anyway time to get back to work <laughs> 